The second round of test work, which we announced about a month ago, is outstanding. 80% recovery, um, concentrated about 6.6% on average. Obviously, lab scale, um, you know, put through heavy liquid separation, but that emulates the DMS or the dense media separation that we hope to use on our project. Hello, welcome to Assay TV. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Chris Gale, who is Managing Director of Latin Resources. Latin Resources is an Australian company focused on the Salinas Lithium project in the resource-rich province of Minas Gerais in Brazil. Chris, fantastic uh, to see you here today. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to be talking... Well, happy New Year. Happy New Year as well, absolutely. Uh, we're going to be talking uh, a little bit um, about the mineral resource estimate that you've recently put out um, at your Salinas project there in Brazil. But before we get into that, for our viewers who maybe are unfamiliar to Latin resources, can you just give us a little bit of background on the company and your sort of ambitions? Sure. Thanks, Leo. And look, just a snapshot of, of Latin Spain. This is our 15th year this year in South America. Uh, we've had copper projects in Peru. We have an, uh, a lithium project in Argentina. We also have a, a Cayman Hellasite deposit here in Western Australia. But our major focus, of course, and uh, our big discovery earlier last year in 2022 was our um, Salinas Brazilian Lithium Project. Um, we'd been working on that in 2019, early 2020. Um, COVID hit us. Um, we had to pull the guys out of there. We got back on the ground late. Um, 2021, drilled the hole. Uh, our discovery hole was drilled in March of 22. We put our assays out in April, and that changed the company significantly. Uh, we've grown quite, quite large since then. We have 50 people on the site. Uh, we have four rigs, another four landings shortly. So it's, yeah, it's been a very exciting year for us. Mm, absolutely. Uh, obviously, a perfect time to be getting into lithium in a big way. And you put out this mineral resource estimate in December. Can you just give us some of the highlight numbers from that? Yeah, sure. Um, look, a little over 10 months, we put our first maiden jork resource out, as you said, was in December, 13.3 million tonnes at 1.2%. Uh, um, significant result for the company. Uh, more importantly, SGS um, Canada, who actually also did Sigmas. Sigmas is another our neighbouring um, part or our, our neighbouring peer, if you like. Uh, they have an 85 million tonne resource there with at 1.4%. Um, SGS did all the Sigmas work. Um, and so we got them onto our project. They've also put an expiration target of 22 million tonnes on Kalina. That's Kalina only. So not going we'll to talk a little bit about Kalina West shortly, but so 13.3 million tonnes currently, and we're drilling, still drilling that project to build that resource further. Mm. So that exploration target of 22 million tonnes, that's focused very much on that Kalina deposit, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, we've got four rigs on site there now, continually drill out. We've drilled about 15,000 metres. We've got another um, 10,000 metres to drill to get that resource size up and move that into an indicated resource. Hmm. So we should be looking out for a, a, another sort of resource update um, in the coming months, yeah? Definitely, definitely, Leo, yeah, yeah. So that's what we're working on right now. Fantastic. And you mentioned just now Kalina West, a uh, sort of separate target just to the, as, as it suggests, the west of Kalina. Um, tell us about the work that's already been done there. Well, Leo, we put four holes down in there. We put uh, hole 33 went down um, and we came up with some great results. That was around about... Um, 18, me 18 metres um, width of around about 1.3%. So that showed us that, that, that those actual pegmatites are uh, moving across to the west. We've actually found a major pegmatite through there. We've put another three holes down. We're just waiting on the assays now. But certainly um, that's proving to show or proving up to be another significant discovery for the company. Obviously, we've got to put a lot more work into that, a lot more um, drilling is going to be carried out to make sure that happens. So, yeah, we're very excited about Kalina West. Mm, absolutely. And that's about what's 500 metres to the west of Kalina, yeah? Um, Kalina, yeah. Yeah. And then, so you, this drilling campaign you've, you've got planned for 2023. Tell us a little bit about um, how many metres you're planning to drill and where you're going to be drilling. 
Yeah, so look, we've got another four rigs hitting site. They should hit heat site in the next two weeks. So that'll be a total of eight rigs. Um, we announced with our maiden resource, uh, Jork, that, that we'll be putting another 65 metres, 65,000 metres into the region. So that'll be four rigs will, be, will move, move immediately on the Kalina West to start drilling that out. Um, we'll pull two rigs off um, Kalina. One rig will go down Salinas South and the other rig will go into um, the southern portion of Kalina. So with those pegmatites open up into the southern portion of Kalina West and Kalina. So a lot of work, a lot of drilling and hopefully a lot of success coming up over the next few months. Mm. And as you mentioned, I mean, you've got other uh, people in the region, uh, mine, you know, with, with, with spodumene pegmatites. Tell us a little bit about some of your neighbours and what they found. Well, Sigma is, you know, really the, the company that's paved the way for, for us in that region. Uh, we actually went into Brazil on the back of seeing what Sigma was producing there back in 2019, early 20. Obviously, we had to come out and pull, out, pull the guys out because of COVID, but they've done a fantastic job. Um, they're now got, as I said earlier, 85 million tonnes, about 1.4%. They started construction in February last year. They will be in the, the, the commissioning right now, and they will be in production uh, second quarter of this year. So very exciting for Brazil, very exciting for, for Sigma. They're a $4 billion market cap company. They've done a sensational job. And we're using a lot of those consultants that, that worked on the, the engineering, the um, environmental uh, consultants we are using on our project. They've been fantastic for us. Very, very good. So the potential is definitely there in the region, yeah. Um, you, you did some metallurgical test work um, on the Salinas spodumines. What did you find? The second round of test work, which we announced about a month ago, is outstanding. 80% um, recovery, um, concentrated about 6.6% on average. Obviously, lab scale, um, you know, put through heavy liquid separation, but that emulates the DMS or the dense media separation that we hope to use on our project. What that's telling us, Leo, is um, we, are, we will probably not require flotation. And as a lot of people know in this sector, flotation is where, you know, some issues are uh, perhaps um, come up in the sense of producing that concentrate. But if we can use DMS, we're going to have a very moderate CapEx to be able to build that plant and, and develop that plant. So for us, um, it's a great result, but early days, we've got to lot, do a lot more work on the test work, but it, 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 so far it's been great. Really looking I, good. I guess 6.6% um, concentrate from a, from a sort of simple flow sheet. Very encouraging. And 6.6% and for our viewers, how does that compare with sort of what the industry is looking for? Well, typically here in Western Australia, a lot of the material being sold at the moment is 5.5%. Um, uh, Greenbushes, of course, produces around 6%, 6.5%, which is the world's most uh, uh, highest grade, most profitable lithium mine in the world. So um, we, we are looking really good from that, from that test work. But as I said earlier, we've got a little bit more work to do. Larger scale will actually... Uh, we'll use the dense media separation pilot plant um, that we're developing in, in Minas Gerais and Belo Horizonte. So that'll give us a lot more idea of how we're going there. Mm. I mean, as part of, this obviously will lead on into some sort of economic studies on the project. How, where, where are you at in terms of sort of a PEA? Yeah, good question. The SGS has commenced our PEA, our preliminary economic assessment or our scoping study. That's well underway at the moment. Um, we're planning to have that out March, you know, end of March, early April, uh, based on our drilling results. The, that is, that is um, going to give us a, a very good indication of where we move to the DFS. We want to move immediately into a DFS and have that completed by the end of the year. So um, the environmental work has started. It's wet season over in Brazil at the moment, December, January. So our environmental consultants have started on the permitting for our licence, for our development approval. So all that's running in parallel with the drilling. So we, we think that we can fast track this project through the development based on what Sigma has developed in the, in the district. Um, obviously, ministerised government, province, 
will put out, will, will um, basically approve that environmental study. So we think we can move very, very quickly on this, Leo, to get this into development. Excellent. So in terms of things that investors should look out for over the coming months, what are the highlights they should be should keeping an eye out for? Well, I think the key thing for the moment and, and what the board and what, you know, the decision that the group has made is to drill and get this resource as large as we can, as quick as we can. So we would see an upgraded resource over the coming months. We would see the indicated move to a higher level. Hopefully the grade will move to a higher level with more drilling. Um, and we want to build this resource into something significant. The drilling will tell us that. We want to move into our studies, uh, more metallurgical test work, and commence our DFS as soon as we can, have that completed by the end of the year. So there's going to be lots of assay results coming out, resource being built, studies being completed. So it's an incredibly exciting year for lap resources in 2023, our 15th year. I think that this will be our, our milestone year for the company. So certainly uh, looking forward to it. Okay. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining us today and giving us that update on the company. Chris Gale, Latin Resources. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Leo. Have a good day.